Thanks. I guess just start out with you winning uh, offensive player of the week. That's what sort of made you just get that out. Yeah, I mean, I kind of alluded to this uh, Sunday after the game. I feel like there's there's been a lot of conversation, you know, uh, about me, but I feel like anytime you win awards like that, it's it's a collective group and. Man, we rushed the ball for over 200 yards, and it's it's nothing that you guys aren't familiar with. You don't do that unless the guys up front um, play really well. So I look at that more as like a collective um, award. And um, man, the, the biggest thing is that we were able to get the win, and and uh, we we did what we had to do to, to do that. Do you think what you did Sunday? I don't know if this is the right terminology or whatever. Okay, but. Does that warrant more snaps or whatever? Or no, you know, I, look, I, I don't. I don't try not to get too caught up in that. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I trust our coaches and in, in what we're doing, and I think some weeks, you know, there, there's some advantages, more emphasis, and, and various things like that. And those guys spend so much time breaking the film down, putting together a plan to make sure that you know myself and and the rest of our skill guys are put in the right opportunity to uh, to be successful. So um, yeah, I, I think that's really, really where my mind is at right now. And I, I think the more that I can do there, I think it creates opportunities for other guys in other places. And so, man, th this thing is just evolving and, and we'll just see where we go. Jason, when Pete tells you at halftime, we, we think we can do this and we think we can do a little bit more of that to be effective with that kind of Get the adrenaline going a little bit more. Um, no, I, I think that's kind of like as I enter a game plan or, or a game or whatever. I think that's kind of the expectation that that these plays are 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 going to get called. And so, you know, generally at, at halftime we make some adjustments. But as you guys know, that halftime goes so fast. I think most of the time we come out and we say, hey, th these are the things that we want to get to. Um, and going into a game, you, you expect those plays to get called anyways. Um, so I, I will say, I don't know that it really changes my mindset. You know, I, I think it helps having a heads up because, you know, you, you have an expectation of what to plan and prepare for going into the second half. Hey, Jason. Oh, sorry. sorry. No, but I'll, I'll say, was there any thought of dialing back special teams duties then or? At that time? <laughs> no, I was just kind of in there, man. Um, look, obviously Deontay went down, and uh, they need some help on kickoff return, and so that was one of those things that that, that wasn't going to go away because because we needed some help there. So, um, you know, again, that's just I, I'm there, and if Riz needs some help, you know, he he kind of grabs me early in the week and says, "Hey, this is this is what we're thinking. You know, be ready and available because I might need you in these." situations of circumstances um so it's it's trying to find that balance you know um and you know this thing is is evolving and it changes and you know with james being banged up and stuff you know it just this thing is just it's a fluid deal as far as I'm sorry, uh, after the game um dennis said that they'd like to involve you more in the passing game and haven't had an opportunity to do that for you we haven't seen you throw the ball a lot. You're practicing with the tight end. How much, how much throwing do you need? How much do you need to, to, to get in shape to not feel rusty, so to say? Yeah, um, that, that's, that's a good question. Um, look, this training camp, I, I really didn't take any reps at, at quarterback. And, you know, in, in the coach's defense, like I, I was banged up. I had, had some ribs that I was dealing with uh, through training camp and stuff. So. I think the last few weeks it's been an added emphasis for me to make sure that you know I'm, I'm still staying sharp. But you know this off season, the emphasis wasn't at the quarterback spot. It was you know making sure that I could do the other stuff too. So um, look, I, I've been doing it my whole life, so I still feel comfortable doing it, and I've, I've got a nice little routine now. Um, the last few weeks where I, I feel comfortable doing all of that. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's probably a, a fair comment too. I, I think both perspectives there probably make sense. Um, and look, we, we have a lot of things that uh, different opportunities for me, and um, 
again, it's one of those things that you kind of prepare for during the week, and then if your number gets called in the game, then you, you try and go take advantage of that. Um, but, you know, again, every game's a little bit different. Um, you know, early this year, we've we kind of fallen behind, and so our game plan was shifted. We, we were in a lot of two-minute situations, and, you know, that is what it is. Taysom, I know it feels like we've spent six years asking you how comfortable you, you are being patient in whatever unique role it is. How about the first four or five weeks of this season? Were you, I mean, was it getting frustrating that, that there weren't a lot of opportunities? And then how rewarding you know, was it to, to yeah. see that a game like this was just around the corner? Look, I... I... I, I've been doing it long enough, you know, that uh, I, tr I try not to, to get frustrated. Um, and, uh, you know, I think the, the thing that becomes hard is, is when you start to lose games, you know. Like, no, nobody likes losing. I certainly don't like losing. And, um, but I, I, trust, I trust our staff and, and um, the opportunities they create for not only me, the rest of our guys. And I'm realistic in, in knowing that we got a lot of talent offensively and guys need need to get the ball and get touches and stuff and so man I try not to get too caught up in that I think early in your career it's a little bit harder to um, to not always think about those things um, but man I would say I, I'm at a point in my career now where you know I'm I'm comfortable with where I'm at you know I don't want that to be you know viewed as complacent in any way because I, I'm I'm hungry. I want all the opportunities and, and, and various things like that. But uh, I, I know that they'll come my way. Well, so you say earlier in your career it's probably harder, but I, I guess what's interesting in your situation is, is since this was the first year you weren't competing for the quarterback job, I mean, were you more questioning, okay, what is, what is my next path then to, uh, you know, because I think you always had that quarterback future job as, as sort of an end game goal? Like, sure. Is it harder to figure out what the, what the end game goal is now? Yeah, I mean, look, I think early this offseason, um, I hadn't had a lot of conversations with DA specifically about what his vision was for me. Um, and I know that he came out and, and had conversations with you guys about what that was going to be. But that was, you know, me trying to have conversations with him, but then also having conversations with Pete. And, you know, I really didn't know what it all meant, if, if I'm being honest. Um, and I, I guess that's what I've kind of alluded to, that this is just a fluid situation, you know. And I think it all changed when Jameis got hurt. And and then all of a sudden, you know, I'm, I'm taking a few more QB snaps during practice and, and everything else. So... Look, I, I think it would be easy for me to 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 look at it and and say, man, this is this is a tough situation because I'm I've got two feet and you know one foot in one room and one foot in the other. But um, man, I'm grateful for for all the opportunities that I that I have been given, and um, I'm at a point in my career where I, I'm just gonna do my best um, in, in whatever opportunity it is and and that's really that's really where my mindset is and uh i think if i start to worry about anything other than that then then you start to go a little crazy